of this esteemed institution. I want to pay special tribute to my parents, Pastors Eric and Leah Harris, as well as my siblings, Giovanni, Dr. Armani Harris, Liani, and Siani Harris. The foundation of my faith, as well as my character, are because of the exceptional example and support you all have provided me. I am fortunate to have grown up in an environment where iron sharpens iron. And to my incredible children, Preston, Adeline, and Harper, your father and I love you more than you'll ever know and recognize your greatness even now. So as we gather today to celebrate the remarkable achievement of the graduating class of 2024, I am truly honored to stand before you with great vulnerability and humbly share part of myself that is deeply personal. Today, I hope to convey at least three lessons I have learned throughout my journey. A journey that has taken me from the battlefields of Afghanistan and the depths of grief to the halls of academia and now the front lines of mental health advocacy and substance use treatment. My own journey, rooted in military service, has been one of both triumph and devastating adversity. Not too long ago, I walked on Broward College's central campus for the second time. My initial journey started in 2004, and it was a bust, to say the least. I prioritized all the wrong things and lacked direction, and the confidence to change course. I had no idea that nearly 15 years later, as a wife, mom of three in diapers, and fresh out of a more than eight year run as an airborne soldier in the United States Army, I would once again call Broward College home. To say life is exciting is an understatement. But this time I was desperate for something to distract me from the wounds I had incurred in my journey. I was carrying around the baggage from four tours in Afghanistan and the devastating loss of my first husband to suicide, as well as the regret of leaving my military service behind. Despite my best efforts, I could not perform my way out of feeling. The quiet whispers of grief and uncertainty became roars that overshadowed any accomplishment I made. I wore a brave face and maintained my bearing while I continued to suffer internal turmoil. At the time, my future remained a mystery, yet I clung to a deep trust in the possibility that God would guide my path and reveal himself to me in unimaginable ways if I could just stay committed to showing up and doing the work. I was ready to embark on this journey in solitude, go to class and go home. I viewed the world through the lens of brokenness and started to believe there was something wrong with me that I could not let people see. And that is where great mentorship challenged everything I thought I knew about being successful in a civilian's world. There are many types of mentorships, but for me it's basically when a more experienced person cares enough to take you under their wing and help you grow both professionally and personally. My mentors believed in me when I wasn't sure how I could believe in myself. They did not co-sign my excuses or my desire to throw in the towel. They demanded the best out of me, and that's exactly what I needed. I was fortunate to have leaders who served as mentors both in and out of my service. Some who have been cheering me on from the very beginning are sitting in this room today. Dr. Balzora, there are no words to express the immense gratitude I feel when I reflect on the patience, wisdom, and support you freely extended to me. Your passion to draw out the very best in the students who are entrusted into your care inspires me in my work today. Professor Ingrid Jones, you pushed me past my self-limiting beliefs and taught me the power of vulnerability. Because of you, I aspire to empower people to do, they, to do the work they need to do to change their lives. You both helped me through the challenges of leaving behind military life and navigating the complexities of finding purpose post-service. My mentors not only provided me with invaluable support and guidance, but they also instilled in me the importance of paying it forward and lifting others up along the way. As you embark on your own journeys, I urge you to seek out mentors who can offer you guidance, support, and perspective. Seek out those who exercise truth with compassion and challenge you with boldness and support. But more importantly, I implore you to become mentors yourselves. 
to share your knowledge, wisdom, and experiences with those who come after you. For it is through mentorship that we can truly make a difference in the lives of others and leave a lasting impact on this world. As a clinician, there is one thing I believe to be true. The courage to choose is a superpower. In 2013, while on my third deployment to Afghanistan, my first husband completed suicide. He was a third of nine suicides in our unit in a short three months. There was nothing that led me to believe such a tragedy would meet me in my own backyard. I was excelling in my career. We were planning to start a family, have a wedding and a honeymoon in Thailand. It was the best time in my life until it wasn't. Losing a spouse to suicide is like being caught in a storm with no shelter in sight. The pain is an unrelenting thunderstorm, each bolt of lightning striking the heart with searing agony. It's as if a tornado has torn through the soul, leaving devastation in its wake. It's one of those experiences in life where people might understand if you decided to fall apart. And yet, choice hangs in the balance. We cannot control what happens to us, but we can choose our responses to adversity. I chose to fight back in the best way that I knew how. The only thing that made sense to me was getting back to what I loved. I could not reconcile being a widow, and so I did what any good soldier would do. I went back to Afghanistan 29 days later. Even now, it's hard to figure out if that was a good or bad idea. I just knew at the time, deployment gave me purpose. It was immeasurable, familiar, and it provided me some sort of validation that my life was not completely falling apart. Eventually, I sought the help that I needed to overcome and the, the aftermath of such a tragedy, and I gave purpose to my pain. Throughout our lives, we are faced with countless choices, choices that shape our destinies and define who we are as individuals. In the face of adversity, we have the power to choose. We can choose resilience over defeat, courage over fear, hope over despair, victory over victimization, and of course, triumph over tragedy. Never underestimate your ability to radically change your circumstances and impact your world because of the decisions that you make. The journey to healing is not linear. There are ups and downs, twists and turns, but do not accept defeat. Even after therapy and mentorship, the remnants of my experiences would show up at the most inconvenient times. While on vacation at a peaceful lake with my mom and a few other family members, a flock of geese flew through a canopy of a tree that I was standing nearby. I didn't hear the geese, I heard helicopters. And in a split second, I was in panic and questioning my reality. I knew where I was literally, but I couldn't understand why Afghanistan was there also. My worlds were colliding, and I wasn't able to keep the facade going anymore. Once again, I was vulnerable, and I had a choice to make. <laughs> How do I want to respond to this experience? Will I allow it to set me back or accept it for what it is? A reminder of my ability to endure and overcome. So I chose the latter. In the military, I learned how to adjust fire both literally and figuratively. Sometimes we will need a tune-up. We will need to adjust, and that's okay. Looking back, I can't help but laugh and think about how I survived the Taliban but was almost taken out by a flock of geese. <laughs> I really appreciate my ability to laugh at the things I was once so ashamed of. It is this power of choice that empowers us to overcome even the greatest of obstacles and achieve our wildest dreams. When we exercise this incredible gift, we create space for people to both aspire and be inspired by our willingness to persevere. As you navigate the complexities of life beyond these walls, remember that you have the power to choose your own path. Embrace the opportunities that come your way and never underestimate the impact of your choices and what they can have on the world around you. For it is through our choices that we shape our destinies and leave a legacy that will endure for generations to come. Using our superpower to choose, 
Let us commit ourselves to leaving the world better than we found it by exemplifying personal courage and the pursuit of what sets our souls ablaze. For me, all my life experiences have culminated into my, my role as a clinician, which by the way, also includes this very moment as your commencement speaker. And in this moment, I am seeing the realization of experiences that have exceeded my dreams. In my role as a clinical social worker, I have had the privilege of supporting veterans who are struggling with mental illness and substance use disorders. I have witnessed firsthand the transformative power of vulnerability, empowerment, and human connection in helping individuals heal and rebuild their lives. I have also witnessed the devastation that can result from going with the flow and compromising your values in order to fit in or to escape. As you venture off into the next phase of your journey, I challenge you to build up the internal fortitude to face your challenges head on. There will be times when you are given a choice between your integrity and popular pressure. Some will try to distract you. People, albeit well-intentioned, may bestow their own self-limiting beliefs onto you. In those moments, will you choose to stand firm in your convictions, even when others may not understand your vision, passion, and drive towards your dreams? During my time in the Army, I faced countless challenges and obstacles that tested my resolve and determination. From grueling deployments to Afghanistan, the pressures of leadership, and the fear I had transitioning out of service and into the civilian sector, I learned that no matter how hard I'm working or how good I have been, tragedy can still strike. Adversity will come knocking. But I have the ability to respond with courage, and so do you. I can feel the fear, acknowledge its very real presence in my life, and not allow it to be the emotion that dictates my behavior. Ladies and gentlemen, if you remember nothing from this brief time we've had together, take away this. We are all always one choice away from completely changing the direction of our lives. So be courageous. As an Army combat veteran, I would be remiss if I did not take time to speak to our veterans. I stand in awe of the incredible dedication and resilience displayed by my fellow military veterans who are graduating from college. Each one of you has demonstrated unwavering commitment and sacrifice in service to this country, and now you embark on a new chapter, armed with knowledge, skills, and determination. Your journey has been marked by challenges and triumphs, and today as you receive your college degree, you not only honor your own perseverance, but also the legacy of those who have served before you. For those you have, who have made the ultimate sacrifice on foreign soil, and for those who lost their battle at home, we honor their memory by living the lives that they cannot taking full advantage of each and every opportunity to thrive. I salute your courage, your strength, and your unwavering commitment to excellence. Finally, graduates, as you transition from this institution to the next phase of your journey, hold fast to the invaluable lessons you have garnered here today. The significance of mentorship. Choose people who will draw out the best in you the transformative power of choice. You cannot control what happens to you, but you can always choose your response. And the steadfast commitment to pursuing life with courage, the courage to be vulnerable, the courage to make difficult decisions, and the courage to face life's challenges and overcome adversity. Carry these insights with you as guiding lights, knowing that you possess the wisdom, capabilities, and resilience to conquer any trial that lies ahead. Congratulations, class of 2024. The world eagerly anticipates the impact of your brilliance, your fervor, and your limitless potential. Forge ahead with confidence, and may you bring honor to your alma mater with every endeavor you